Hello everybody, my name is Merc, and we're back in the shadows of Lane Dell. I have not went back to the DLC, we still have to kill that final boss there, but I am excited to explore more of Lane Dell, so we're back here. Uh, specifically below the Divine Bridge at the Fortified Manor, of course. We actually have our uh, Volcano Manor request right here as well. I didn't quite realize this. it was this building. I guess that's this symbol right here, eh? Uh, I did reload the area. This is the same day as the last session. But I went out for dinner, had a couple drinks. Now I'm back. And I guess it's time to invade Vargrim the Raging Wolf and Errant Sorcerer Wilhelm. Before we do that though, let's double check our request. So this is Burnout's request. And he said these are uh, some of the oldest of Round Table Hold. Well, let's see how this goes. Just on a path to uh, take out the other Tarnished. Oh, we're here with him. That's what I thought. Okay, cool. I should really be jump doing jump attacks for sure. I'm so glad that was Burn Owl's spell. I love that they still try to drink, it's so funny. Okay, I was gonna throw some daggers at him. Easy peas. Yippee! <laughs> Even with our uh, janky hammer. We had a lot of weird misses there, but it worked out. I think we already found Wilhelm's equipment earlier. Uh, can't quite recall where that was. Oh, we didn't look at these rainbow stones. Arrows. Arrow wooded from animal bones tipped with chips of rainbow stone. Colored light shines at point of impact. Uh, I guess the mask is already gone. I think we found it at Volcano Manor. Uh, not at the actual manor itself, but along the outside of Mount Gelmir. Probably somewhere around here. Uh, maybe it was actually south. It was south of the volcano. But anyway, um, let's read the lore on the Raging Wolf Helm. Helm worn by Vargrim, the Raging Wolf, one of the first tarnished to visit Round Table Hold. Vargrim's nickname came comes from the fact that White Wolf's mane that decorates this helm. Okay, comes from the White Wolf's mane that decorates this helm. According to the old legend, wolves are the shadows of the Empyrean, and this is what Vargrim aspired to be. Who is the Empyrean? Or Empyrean? Um, Michaela is referred to as an Empyrean. Empyreans are just like someone who has ascended into godhood, essentially. Let's see if we can find the other, this one. This wasn't the exact... Actually, no, it was the exact helmet, because it even has the bald spot on the top, because I remember the blindfold as well. It'll be hard to find this guy's robe, I think, but... Probably not worth trying. Um. Well, that was a fun little mission. I guess we can go talk to Knight Burnall. Uh, I think this is the main quest as well, as well here. Juno Hoslow. Yeah, Knight of Blood. So, is that our fr is that going to be our friend or is that going to be like someone? Oh, it's obviously going to be someone related to our friend if it's not him. I can't remember the guy's name. It was like Dalius or something. Um, we might as well just go back. I feel like. 
go talk to Bernal and maybe we can talk to Patches again. Just a, a brief trip. Just go say hi. Might as well talk to this lady as well. Yeah, yeah. This man is back. He uh, disappeared. Oh, and Dialis is back too. Tarnished. It is the Oran Inn. So he's saying the same thing. Ah, it's you, is it? I'm terribly sorry. But would you mind giving me some time to myself? I haven't achieved anything at all thus far. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, I'm still yet to achieve anything. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. How did it take me so long to realize, honestly? There's just no end to my foolishness, is there? Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than what an easy mark I'm... Hmm, okay. Meanwhile, I'm blazing through the ranks, helping out a recusant friend. I guess the lady's here t uh, is gone as well. Her name is Rhea, I believe. Ah, I had hoped you'd soon return. I have the reward from Lady Tanith. Take it. It's yours by right. Gelmir's Fury. The path of the recusant together till we reach the miserable death that awaits us. I thought for sure we'd be battling each other next. I don't know why he's looking down. I wanted to look at his face. It's a pretty cool helmet. It's like two lions. I was trying to look at the nose, though. Um. Hello. Brave Tarnished. What is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness, am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. This is Rhea, I guess. Oh, give my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite this appearance, brave tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zorias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. Mm -hmm. Yep, totally just as it Lady seems. Lady Tanith is my mother. Oh, yeah. I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. Oh. My mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am, but people I like getting the full the front shot on her. That's so funny. Form, they wouldn't speak to me, and so I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. I guess that's why she's hunched over. Not like the rest, my serpentine form and the name Zorias were secrets known only to Lady Tanith and I. You're rather forthwith with them. The secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. My serpentine for secrets. Now I share this. My serpentine form. These little lizard legs and arms. Can we go talk to Tanith again? If you follow this, no. it cannot... Oh. Did you see her? The girl, Raya. With her true face. Mm. Mm. Well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother, I ask of Okay, she clarifies please adoptive. Please be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. Okay. Please, her true vi-
<laughs> um, sorry about that one. Oh, look at her eyes. Can't really. Can I crouch and do this? No. How about you? Just got a crucible knight next to her, basically. I think I have that helmet. Oh no, it's almost like- actually no, it is this one. Hey. Crucible Knights who served Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, so... That guy's been around for a while. What was I using? Oh yeah, the jar. Where is the jar? There it is. This guy seems like... Is this guy a ghost? Why is he glowing? Well... This one's supposed to be my room, right? I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Here's your room. There's a dead body on there. Feel free to loot it. What about you? Hello again. Welcome to Patch's Emporium. <laughs> Sharper than you seem, aren't you? I was just holding on to it for you. You know. There you go. The reward for hunting Tragoth. All yours. Magma Whip Candlestick. Nothing new on sale. Cheers. This ritual implement is a three-pronged candlestick with solid flames formed by the magma of Mount Gelmir. When wielded as a weapon, the flames become supple whips of lava. Unique skill C of magma. Swing a molten whip overhead to temporarily cover the area in a sea of magma. Hold to continue swinging. And then we got Gelmir's Fury, one of the sorceries developed from the magma of Mount Gelmir conjures a surge of magma from the earth covering the area charging extends the surge this sorcery is oh, sorry this sorcery is held to represent the fury of the volcano but the arrogance of attempting to harness it is solely that of men and serpents men and serpents night dialos Okay, back to Lane Dell. Specifically the fortified manor. We will slowly work our way to toward the other dude there. Maybe we'll have to go back there one more time just to see if maybe Pla Patches has another mission for us before we finish that objective. Kind of a weird spot for a site of grace. You would think it might even be like at this statue, but or like at this spot right here. Doesn't seem to be a lot of action in this room, is what I'm saying. I guess I just had a big fight in here, but I mean, the other, the last fight I did for Patches Tragoth was in front of a site at Grace too. So, okay, so we if it went over there. It doesn't seem like there was a way to fall from above. Uh, I mean, there, there's of course, is a way to fall from above, but I don't know if it was over there on the along the dragon. Got some dogs. Here's some music. It is daytime now. Last time we were here, it was uh, much darker. Climb up the branch, the big roots, assuming there's nothing down there. There is uh, the gladiator knight, and we're actually right at the Colosseum.
Might as well continue up the up the route here until we find a reason to fall. Seems they're all just praying towards uh, the earth tree there. This is just leading like right up. Not that I'm against that, but... I'm pretty sure a couple of those uh, corpses had loot, but it's all good. We did get stabbed in the process. Okay. <laughs> Love when there's uh, ragdoll physics. What the? Godfrey the first Elden Lord. Well, buddy, I hate to say it, you missed twice. I know how that is. Three times? I thought he was going to go for another. That's a big combo you had there, buddy. trapped keeps doing the same attack over and over because I keep just like barely stepping away from him <laughs> that's really funny that he missed me twice with that a talisman pouch hey that's huge we finally got it I could put on anything. There's so many options, and I don't even know where to begin. This one seems pretty good. This seems like a decent spec, so boosts uh, damage when your HP is full, and then you just have a trinket that slowly restores HP. So I'm assuming that was not the real Godfrey, that was just a clone. I don't know if the real Godfrey exists. Erdtree Sanctuary. If I was uh, appropriate leveled for that fight, I probably would have died. <laughs> but it didn't seem all that difficult. I imagine it's like the first Moog fight, though, that you would find. Where... It doesn't even have the phase 2. So he doesn't even have half his attacks there, all the scary attacks. This sort of seems like the way to go. Way to go! This is cute. Okay, so since this seems like such the way to go, let's uh, scout out over here first. Apparently that's just a pit. 
my favorite cathedrals just happen to have death pits in them, you know. Adds to the ambiance. Oh. What about out the front door? This area looks really nice, for sure. That's where we came from down there. Kind of looking for a convenient elevator. That'd be nice. There might be one right here. Because we didn't really explore this uh, upper part of the city. We just kind of went to the big area in the back. Huh. I mean, this is accomplishing what I want to do anyway. We're exploring the city, so... We'll continue along this path. I thought this one might lead down to the other area. Oh, is this supposed to be Radagon? Is that why they give him golden hair, even though it's supposed to be red? Because I don't think it's supposed to be Godfrey. I mean, that was not like the build of Godfrey. We've not even been over there where that gargoyle is. Got some perfumers here. I'm going to buffer this guy. You know what? Let's get the free attack in. That didn't go as planned. Oh, I thought I had mana. <laughs> That's why I can't have bone darts on the bar, because otherwise I'm going to cheese out dudes like that. I mean, it is fun to do. And the best part is bone darts are the weakest of them all, so it's like... If I really want to cheese out people, I can pull out the even stronger ones. They might be slower, though. I'm already losing my patience. Can I do one of these? Barrier of gold greatly increases magic damage negation for self and allies. This incantation was used by the champions of the Erd Tree in the first and second Lyurnian Wars, during which the red haired Radagon joined the hero's ranks. Nice, that's some that's some real lore there. In the first and second, during which so like during the first one for sure, because they didn't specify. So Radagon joined Queen America's uh, Golden Order and then maybe even immediately turned on uh, Renala, the Queen of the Full Moon. Trying to figure out if we've been down there. Yeah, we have. Okay. Did we get anything from the Crucible Knight? No. It's like a somber stone, perhaps. This door isn't sealed like the rest of them.
Is there even a way down? This seems less than ideal. Why am I running around with the bow out? <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't necessarily want to go down. I just want to see if we can get over there. Over here in particular. I forgot this is an elevator. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why is this room a dead end? That's not what I wanted. <laughs> well, at least we can get our souls back pretty quickly, I think. Not that I'm really using them for anything. Kind of defeat the purpose of me trying to get back there without dying. That's very funny. There, I did see there was, some, there was something down there, so we got some intel. I just don't know if that was... Uh... It's not where we want to be. We've already been down there. Unless there's an item on that roof. This is where we just died. But I saw something down there. Something that's bad for my health. Oh no. Okay. I just want to get a look. I know we're going to fall in a second. What if I jump down there? Does that, that seem viable? Oh, this is where the lion was because that's the perfumer there. Okay. This is where the dogs were. We didn't go on to this other branch, though. This uh, gargoyle definitely is going to resist my fire smash techniques, so let's pull out these. Gargoyles Halberd. I was just looking at that. Uh, we might have already had these ones. This one. So, it seems like these ones, these are the same creatures as we found, like, in the sewers and other, like, dark areas of the city. Except the, the dark ones were not wrapped in bandages, and they were all, like, shriveled up, like, uh, raisins, almost. Those ones seem, shall we say, moisturized. So I don't know if there's a reason why. I guess I didn't, wasn't too handy that weapon. Um, reason why some of them are dried up versus mo moisturized, as I'm calling it. <laughs> like, why are the ones on the top of the walls in the sun playing music? And blowing bubbles while the ones we found in the dark inn and the sewers are like deranged and trying to bite me so we're back at the wall again this is where that sight of grace is i always forget that that one's there This is where we came in from when we dropped off the dragon. And yeah, it doesn't seem like there'd be a good spot to drop from up here. And when we went down over there, it was a dead end. So we actually might have explored this area to my satisfaction then. 
it was worth going back for the golden seed, but I didn't quite realize that was all that we we're missing. That was the case, then I would have should have got it right away. I guess I didn't really look down and see that in this session. I might have acknowledged it earlier. And that's the broken bridge path. This is the other thing I wanted to check out. I didn't quite realize it was just uh, a staircase right there. The gladiator is going back up top of the hill. Uh, I don't really want to drop down like this. <laughs> Why is this guy right there? Looks like he's like about to slide off every time I look at him. You see this? Is it because they're like culling him out of existence every time I look away? It seems like they might be doing that for the upper one too. It's very funny. Well, we could take out this gladiator, I guess. Just as simple as that. This seems like the safest place to fall. It doesn't even seem all that safe. Seems like if you really delay your jump attack, you actually get a bit more range out of it. But it probably takes longer to come out. Because you like land on the ground and then do it. It does seem like they release uh, some more particle effects when they die and drop loot. I don't know if I've ever brought that up. If this guy has a loot. What even are we? Oh, this is the start of the branch, right? Yeah, okay. I, I want to go back down to the, the Colosseum. Or rather up. Go down to get up. This slowly regenerating HP is uh, not all that good, but it's not bad. Definitely an emphasis on slowly. Whatever is the matter, please, I implore you, continue. Continue your reflections, your rhythms. I must be the one to record them. What matters this issue of Radigan, really? The Erd Tree, heart of the Golden Order, lies before our very eyes. Why must these qualms come to you now? We were on the very cusp. Time for confusion. Oh, was I was going to go visit you. Sorry, but I hardly noticed. I'm a little shaken since the master ceased his movements. The master's reflections had heightened as we neared the Erd tree. While still a precise calculus, the rhythms grew increasingly wild. 
until he simply ceased. Now the master is facing quite the puzzle. The Golden Order is founded on the principle that Marika is the one true god. However, the name of Marika's second husband, King Consort Radigan, also appeared. Who exactly was Radigan? You tell me. The master is stumped. His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. Curse my mediocre mind. The master only has me. And here I fail him. Who exact the master his finger has remained but oh how important could it really be? Mm. The Erd tree, heart of the golden order, lies before our very eyes. Why must these qualms come to you now? We were on the very cusp. That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Erd tree. Very well. I'll take it off your hands. I cannot afford to maintain my innocence any longer. I must dirty my hands to test my faith, even if it offers only the most meager of hints. I will do whatever I can to help my master. I don't even remember where we found that. Who exactly the master? His finger has re but the earth. Why we were on the. I hate how uh, how similar that was to the last thing he said, but he said some new stuff in there, so I was like skipping through. Lord's heal incantation bestowed by the two fingers upon the tarnished worthy of becoming a lord. Heals a massive amount of HP for the caster and nearby allies. Tarnish or tarnish, seek the Erd tree and stand before Merica, its queen. Become the Elden Lord. Lord's aid incantation bestowed by the two fingers. Alleviates build up a poison, blood loss, and sleep for the cast. Caster and nearby allies additionally cures poison. Sorry, I drank some water, so I guess I was, uh... Had a tiny burp in the middle of that. Um... Yeah, and we're done here. Okay, well, I didn't expect to get lore up here, I'll be honest. Especially... Some Radagon and Marika lore. Because they both seem like very important people. We just saw a statue of Radagon below. Have another gladiator here. Ritual Shield Talisman. Increase, raises defense when HP is at maximum. Talisman pattern after shields used in ritual combat. The practice had died out by the age of King Consort Radagon, but remains of the arenas where ritual combat took place it can be found in every land. That's cool. So this is, uh... These rituals were in honor of Godfrey ritual combat because the Elden Lord must have basically been a tarnished at one point as well and became successful by becoming the most powerful man in the land and then something happened between him and America where she took Radagon as her king consort instead. We don't know what happened to Godfrey. And we also don't know where or what happened to Radagon or where Radagon came from other than the fact that he was married to Ranala beforehand. And I'm assuming Merica is in the Erd Tree in her pose trying to maintain the order that she has strived for. Uh, might as well teleport back, I suppose. To the Erd Tree Sanctuary. I have to imagine Merrick is very much like Gwyn in the first game, where Gwyn is in the bonfire, like the... I don't remember what it's called, like the Great Flame or whatever. 
using his body as kindling to continue the Age of Fire. Like he's giving his life force so that the demigods can still be the most powerful creatures on the in the world, even though most of them don't really exist or have vanished, he's still like holding on to his dying age, and I feel like Merica is very much doing the same thing. But we don't know what happened to Godfrey and Radagon, who were also key in her rise, I assume. Like, I assume after Godfrey went through, like, he basically torn the lands asunder, gaining power, and with that power vacuum, uh, Merica was able to take hold and, like, take his hand in marriage, would say. Um, and then through that, they started the the basis of the Golden Order, but then I think the Golden Order really flourished during uh, Radagon's reign, where they had many princesses and other childs, I assume. Because all of, like, the, the mage princesses, Rani and etc. were of the... of them, right? There's no mimics in this game, right? <laughs> Erdtree Bow. Longbow featuring Erdtree styling. In times of old, when faith and battle went hand in hand, this weapon was created in tandem with the golden arrow. Scales all arrow damage with faith, revealing its true worth when in used with holy infused arrows. In times of old, when faith and battle went hand in hand. So is that is is that Godfrey? Is Godfrey someone who was of the faith? And then Radagon came in with his background of uh, of sorcery and intellect. And then along with Merica's faith, they formed the union that allowed uh, the Golden Order to reign. Golden Order Principia. Prayer Book of the Golden Order Fundamentalists, a dense and com complex academic treatise that contains the Order's fundamental principles. It's got Radagon's Rings of Light and Law of Regression. Oh no, they're even referring to my regression. Well, crap, do we want to go say hi to the scribe again? We can't really get down there easy, right? How did we get down there last time? I guess it wasn't that... Annoying, I just had to fall and take some damage. The gladiators will be back. That's no big deal. See, like, that was more fall damage than usual, but I still can't tell you the difference between that and, like, another fall. Like, if I didn't jump, I probably wouldn't have taken that much extra damage. I don't have my horse, so... I got greedy with it. <laughs> I got greedy with it! And now I'm not gonna be able to one-shot this guy, yeah. Very silly. I do think we're doing a good job exploring Lanedale. Have we been to that building? What is this building? Oh yeah, that's a uh, Divine Bridge. Kind of went up the wrong way, but it's fine. We can just look upon the Erdtree's splendor some more in the meantime. We are approaching it. Oh, was that you? Yes, the man after coming all this way. Who exactly? The master's finger. Okay, so nothing new. Why we were on the. This is a volume of incantation. It's good to see your enthusiasm. 
Indeed, I will happily take it off your hands. Creates a ring of golden light to attack a wide area. One of the incantations of the Golden Order Fundamentalists. So part of the fundamentals of the Golden Order includes Radagon. A gift of gratitude to the young Mikola from his father, Radagon. Produces a golden ring of light and fires it across a wide area, charges enhances range. And yet the young Mikela abandoned fundamentalism for it could not for it could do nothing to treat Melania's accursed rot. This was the beginning of unallied uh, sorry, unalloyed gold. Unalloyed gold. So they, they didn't they added something else to their understanding of the Golden Order. So instead of the Golden Order fundamentalism being just strictly on faith. This also requires intellect because this is a Radagon spell. This was the beginning of the unalloyed gold. So an alloy of gold would be gold mixed with something else to make like a, a stronger metal type of thing. Is that not it? Unalloyed. If this was the beginning, okay, I'm thinking too hard about it. We'll move on, we'll move on. The fundamentalists describe the Golden Order through the powers of regression and causality. Regression is the pull of meaning, that all things yearn eternally to converge. Okay, is the pull of meaning, like literally the, the, like the force of pulling, pulling things together, the force of gravity, if you will. To converge. So progression would be like expanding, right? Whereas regression is contracting. Again, I might be thinking about it a little too hard. I do feel a bit of a headache coming on. I wonder if that's uh, the beers or <laughs> that's me thinking too hard about stuff that doesn't necessarily make sense here. I'm trying to make sense. I don't think it's that complicated of a grand story. I feel like especially I've, I, over the years of storytelling that the From, uh, From Software have done. It does feel like this one is told even more directly than some others. Like that's a, that's a, an assassin of the Black Knives. About duels. So a black knife assassin is, is waiting here. What is this room? The queen's bedchamber. I was literally going to suggest, is this the queen's area? But I didn't, I wasn't sure. Visions of seems familiar. Yeah, it reminds me of Dark Souls 1. Likely nest. Blessing of the Erd Tree. Bunch of incantations here. Greater grants greater blessing to self and nearby allies. Restoring a large amount of HP. The Erd Tree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment. Such is the course of all life. Indeed. We are approaching this Erd Tree. I'm trying to see, like, is, is there more that I'm missing? It does seem like you could go over there. How would one get over there? I wonder, can you, like, skip Lane Dell? I have 575,000 souls. This is a new, new high score for sure, but it's probably time to, to level up. Considering there's a big doorway right there. Why are people dying in here? Talk to Melina. We haven't had that option in quite a while. Spoken. 
broken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. You know it, girl. Marika's own words. O Radigan, leal hound of the Golden Order, thou art yet to become me. Thou art yet to become a god. Let us be shattered, both mine other self. Say what? There could be a, could be a couple inter interpretations there. Your other self, yeah, they're married. You're my better half, ha ha ha. Or there could be the literal interpretation of they are one and the same, Radagon and Marika. That's all you're gonna say, lady. You're just gonna disappear. I can only level three times. That's hilarious. Alright, we're done leveling endurance now for sure. There's no reason to level it more, I don't think. Just try I don't even know what else to level anymore. Get why it's so foggy in that church. Summoning ahead. Oh, you can definitely go over there. Well, it's like a throne up ahead. Whoever we fight is going to be pretty important here for sure. Oh, what the? I can summon Melina? That sort of reinforces the idea that this is going to be a very important person right here. Let's just run it like this, see how it goes. Man, we only have 6,000 souls left over after leveling up. That's hilarious. Graceless, tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? This is like Morgoth? Ah, Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Radan. Praetor Reichard. Luna Princess Rani. Those are some names. Willful traitors. All. Thy kind are all of a piece. You peace? This Pillages must be nice. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Fell. By King Morgoth, last of all kings. This man's taking a dip in the primordial crucible a little bit. I think fire is probably going to do pretty well against him. Did a good chunk. I just always buffer a back roll. Oh, dude. What? Oh, 
demigod fell. Oops, I broke him. Though born one of the graceless omen, Morgoth took it upon himself to become the Erdtree's protector. He loved not in return, for he was never loved, but nevertheless, love it he did. Okay, so he was a servant of the Golden Order despite being born of the, the Primordial Crucible. An ill-omened one. Morgoth's great rune. Seek the Divine Tower of East Altus, which stands beyond the Great Bridge from Lanedale's Eastern Ward. We have a couple great runes now. That need to be activated. These both say the same thing, though. They're also not letting us leave. What the? Tree wards off all who deign approach. We are, we are all forsaken. Is this Morgoth? <laughs> None may claim the title of Elder Lord. Thy deeds shall be met with failure. Just Well, still don't quite know who that's supposed to be. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be Morgoth, but where's all his horns? I broke the throne. Could this be a confusion? Right required ahead, but you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Is this Sight of Grace not here before? I don't think it was. Was this body always there? It's gotta be Morgoth's body, right? You still can't warp out. We gotta sit down. Yeah. I figured. Hello again, old friend. We, we just talked like we just talked like five minutes ago. You. you were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable, a husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey. What? With me to the flame okay. of ruin. Far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd tree aflame. Okay. 
down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Wait, the rolled medallion. Red mark was added. Lady, I don't know how to get over there. Weren't you journeying with me the whole time? We even level off of this guy. Oh. Let my hand rest upon you. I forgot that th this is actually the the lore here. Share them with me. Uh. Your thoughts. Your ambitions. The principles you would follow. Right. I don't have enough to do that. I'm sorry about. I'm sorry about that though. <laughs> That's so funny. They even moved his corpse just in case you didn't talk to him. It must have been... That must be Morgoth then. Okay, well, lady, you said, yeah, come to the spot on the... Okay, no, she's right. This is this is where we need to go. Um, <laughs> well... How tricky is it to get to this next area, do you think? I, she gave us that key item. Operates the Grand Lift of Rolled. Conjoin Split Medallion depicting the Flame Peak. Connecting Lanedell to the mountaintops of the Giants. The Forge of the Flame of Ruin is said to be found upon their peaks and is here Melina wishes to travel in resuming your journey together. I can't, so was she traveling with us the whole time? That's what, That was my impression. But she made it seem like we weren't. Like we just showed up here again. Problem is, I don't know how to get over there. Um, maybe it's through the Landau Catacombs now that we... Oh, I forgot that we actually have another warp at the bottom. It was uh, the Cathedral of the Forsaken. Where we found this uh, invisible wall. This, there's no way this is the way to go. But there was a, a symbol here that was blocked by a seal blocked by Morgoth. That is now open. And these, again, are all corpses of merchants. Okay, almost fell right there. Can't tell if this guy's like blind. I'm getting some deep merchant lore right now. So all the merchants are mad. They've been driven to consuming runes, I suppose. I assume this guy might be blind because he like looks like he's using his stone as a uh, a cane, you know, a walking cane. Can't really see anything because of the hammer, per usual.
Frenzied Cookbook. Frenzy Flame Stone. What is that? This is a DLC item. Got Frenzied Flame Pots. No stones. I mean, we've got some stones here, but not any of that. The Frenzy Flame. At least we have some nice music as I lose my mind trying to find these. Frenzy Flame Stone. Confers madness upon those who have not adopted the flame. Take care not to mi mistake this for its gentler cousin. I didn't quite realize it would be a warming stone. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought would happen. Man, not gonna talk. It's like the Fire Keeper's Grave in Dark Souls 3. I feel like I screwed this up. This jump seems... I thought I saw an item, but... Oh, I do. It's just down below. I died? Oh, I lived. That was such a... a half-ass jump. I don't know what to do here. Sure. like what's that noise inescapable frenzy that's my thing being procced oops oh well um incantation originating from the maddening three fingers caused the yellow flame of frenzy to bla blaze from caster's eyes it's probably the one that the, they were using the caster then latches onto foes spreading the madness this incantation also builds up madness in the caster. It is only effective against Tarnish. To gaze into another one's eyes is truly the most intimate form of human contact. A fireprint stone shield causes madness buildup. Sorry, fingerprint stone shield. A great stone shield with an intricately carved fingerprint design. 
one of the heaviest of all great shields, part of a tomb of an ancient god, the readerless fingers relay their message through these imprints, said to be the very seeds from which Frenzy first spouted. Did the mother of fingers use Frenzy? Can't recall. I'm surprised we got through that without dying. I mean, there's still plenty of time to die, right? Although, I guess it seems we're at the bottom. Okay. Oh! Yetta! So you're here as well, are you? I realized as we've talked, I'll be a maiden, and you, surely a lord, go to the door ahead. After divesting yourself of your possessions, what? it will surely open, and the three fingers will welcome you. May the flame of chaos find purchase within you. <laughs> I like how I like turn to the side, like looking at the camera. It will surely open. Mm, did I do the bad ending with this lady? What do I care? This is kind of kind of wild. It did look like there was like a doorway, but I don't think it was. Think carefully ahead. She said we have to divest ourselves of all of our belongings. That person is very much naked. I want to see if he had his storyline progress it, the way that people are saying think carefully implies that this might be like an ending choice go to the door ahead what if she what if we didn't do her quest like could we still have done this if I, we just had to knew, know to get naked? Okay, another sight of grace just like right here. We're like fastly approaching the underground. Okay, no, we definitely are in the underground now. You can use the horse. It's a good message. Instead of walking backwards like three steps, I pulled out the message interface. Well, I didn't miss seeing giant ants. I will I will safely admit that. That was a scary double jump. Probably don't want to fall.
We're in Deep Root Garden. Not a safe jump that I just did. I'm gonna say this is not a dog. Someone's got to draw the line, and ants, ants are not dogs. Look at this stinger. Not very dog-like. Don't know what this is going to accomplish, really. Do you have to use the horse? Seems like you might. I don't know if that's strictly true. You probably could make the jump. But maybe, maybe not. So many blood stains. Don't, don't fall. Uh, there's no way back up. I really hope there was an item up there. I don't think there was. Not happy that I fell there. <laughs> Oh, there's a coffin down there. Where is this? Oh, yeah, this is the old city for sure. I wonder if this is going to lead us to the old city if we haven't somehow gotten down here. Is this stupid? Yeah, probably. But it worked! Okay, I remember this. Because this is the swarm of flying bugs that I did not want to take out. So many messages on this. That's also where the cave was, right? Was this the entrance? I can't remember where the entrance was of this area. I think we came in through that coffin.
I don't know how to get this item. Does not seem like you want to drop from up here. I'm surprised I didn't take damage there. This is where we saw the weird ants. Yeah, so this is this is where we came in from. In fact, there was a, an Erdtree avatar here. And this is the coffin we can't take anymore because this is where we came from. Okay. Well... I'm a little, a little at a loss. Do we do this ending? How did anyone find this, this secret over here? Can I see if that place had an item? It would have been over there. I don't see a corpse necessarily. Maybe I'll check that out in my own time. Maybe not. <laughs> Go to the door ahead. It will surely open. Surely we just listened to this crazy aid lady who was eating eyeballs and she's talking about chaos. Bad ending confirmed. I mean, we're following the Volcano Manor. Ranny's quest or Ronnie's quest line is telling us to do some some potentially nefarious stuff. What's one more? Are the three fingers going to brand me? I feel like this- I just made a choice that's going to affect the rest of the game right here. It's going to brand me for life. So when I go back to round table hold, everyone's going to be pissed. The flames of frenzy overtaking me. And then it disintegrates entirely. Yep. I knew I knew it. Okay, I'm actually I'm I'm pleased with this.
Not like she's gonna be able to see our new scars, but she might be able to feel them, I guess. Hey lady, wanna wanna feel my scars? The flame of chaos has nestled within you. Could you please rest your hand upon me? Burn me with the flame to make me your maiden. Oh, it burns. My eyes, my eyes, they're melting. Hey, you okay? Greater will made a mistake, torment, despair, affliction, every sin, every curse, every one born of the mistake. And so, what was borrowed must be returned, melted all away with the yellow chaos flame, until all is one again. Those who gave me grapes howled without words, saying they wished they were never born. Become their lord, take their torment, despair, their affliction, every sin, every curse, and melt it all away. As the lord of chaos, no more fractures, no more burn. Um, are you okay, miss? Frenzied flame seal, frenzied flame stone. Are you, miss? Hello, miss? Um, she might be dead now. We might have just, we might have just killed her. Whose frenzy flame incantations cause slight madness build up formless sacred seal bestowed by the maiden of the three fingers. Enhances incantations of frenzy flame. This seal is the mark of the lord of frenzy flame. Hey, that's me. Scales incantations using strength, dexterity, and intelligence, and faith all together. I mean, I already killed Midra. As far as I'm concerned, I am the lord of frenzy flame now. Well, we gotta put on a mask that shows our eyes. Is our, are our eyes even any different? Oh yeah, they are. You just can't really tell. Because my dude is hideous. Why does it look like I can't equip this? It's just because it's dark, I guess. I guess because it's dark. What if we put on this? Increases strength. I didn't realize. I can't see my eyes though. Let's put on the bear hood again. Uh, I hope Melina's not going to be mad. Yeah, she might be. You have inherited the frenzied flame. Yeah, what about it? A pity. You are no longer fit. Our journey together ends here. Oops. And remember, should you rise as the Lord of Chaos, I will kill you. As sure as night follows day. Such mm. is my duty for allowing you the strength of runes. Goodbye, my companion. Oops. Goodbye, Torrent. 
Oh no. I didn't think carefully enough. Whatever, I'm not gonna think about it at all anymore. And then she's just dead? Ooh, bad ending, bad ending. We got we did it folks. I've been worried I've been joking about it the whole time, and then I basically willingly chose it. All because I fed her the Shrubiri grape. I'm not even gonna use these incantations probably. Hmm. I should have just left this marker on the map. And we should have uh, debated it some more. I really don't know how to get back or get over here. I'll be honest with y'all. <laughs> I... <laughs> You know, it wouldn't be a Dark Souls game if I didn't accidentally uh, do the most horrible things to everybody. Torn, Torn's still my friend though, right? That's all that matters. Ah, uh, man. That's not where we want to go at all. Problem is, I don't really know where we want to go. I thought Melina would be cool. Just be cool, lady. Well, she gave us the thing that allows us to, to take the lift. I wonder... I wonder. It does seem like there's a path over there. With demi humans worshiping them, worshiping a perfumer. There's clearly a way down there, but... Unfortunately, I don't even know where to start to look for that. Really gonna make me jump up there? Oh. We got the horn. Get some lore on these... Weirdos. Golden Horde of the Oracle Envoys. Profoundly weighty, it blows our sure to be felt. Originally an instrument, but one that cannot be sounded by a, by a mere human, or perhaps it's too early to sound the call. Are they implying that humans will evolve into those? It does seem like if we go down, I don't know, on the main road, maybe we have a, a way to get down there? Like, does this door open down there? I feel like it does. Was this a whole area I didn't go down to? It could be. Um, with that in mind, I think we're going to end this video as the Frenzied Flame Lord, I guess. Oops. Actually, before we do that, we have a bit of time. We got another horn. We're going to go do something crazy. We're going to go see Roundtable and see what people think about this. Because I have a feeling they're not going to be happy. Find the Albin Oracle. I also don't know anything about that Albin Oracle woman. What about the dung eater back here? Are you dead, dead?
Last time we talked to the dung eater here, he like literally threatened us. He said something like, "If when we see each other, I'm gonna kill you and then I'm gonna defile your corpse." So I don't feel too bad killing him dead. Greetings. Do you hear the spirit? I can hear it from across the howl. You should keep. I know you should. In this ash, it reminds me of my... Well, I took you from that man to lay out your own. I'll worry about this in my own time. Surely you got I nothing new. Please, would you like me? The blessing is still a flame. Would you like to be? Hmm, it's okay. All right, the moment of, of truth here. Well, you managed to return. You know what this means. The old tree has burned you. The fingers remain still, shaken. By this turn of events, they are busy consulting the greater will. When they are finished, the fingers will again offer their guidance. Okay, so she doesn't know. But thousands, if not tens of thousands, of moons must first pass. No matter for me, but you. How will you ever manage to wait? My. Oh, my. Got Mor Morgoth's Cursed Sword here. Warp Blade of Shifting Hue used by Morgoth, the Omen King. The accursed blood that Morgoth recanted and sealed away, reformed into this blade. And also got a reusable Regal Omen Bairn. Uses FP to release many wraiths. Doll of a Cursed Born Bairn from the Erdtree's Royal line omen babies born of royalty do not have their horns excised but instead are kept underground unbeknownst to anyone imprisoned for eternity these memorial fetishes are fashioned in secret okay so that's why morgot wasn't murdered immediately i mean sure whatever We got the briar set battered iron helm from a foreign land worn by alamer of the briar the winding winding rusting iron rusted iron briars are a mark of the guilty and typically indicate a sentence of death they also cause this armor to deal damage when performing dodge rolls alamer murdered numerous instructors and merchants and was known as the bell bearing hunter we got the fell omen cloak a cloak of ragged fur worn about the exposed body of Margit, the Fell Omen. Having slaughtered countless champions during the Shattering, the Fell Omen was has become a horror to those who harbor ambitions for the Erdtree or for Lordship. The Briar Armor. Heavens forbid. That is not the domain of mere men. The burning of the Erd tree is the first cardinal sin. And you say you seek the power of the rune of death too? Yeah, yeah, and also the frenzied the flame. Of death goes by two names. The other is destined death. The forbidden shadow plucked from the golden order upon its creation. Uh, unleashing the rune now would be unthinkable. The fingers would never permit it. Nor would the greater will. <sighs> but here we are. The fingers dormant, severing our link to the greater will. The realm and all life in ruins. Impossible events transpire. 
Beyond the ken of the fingers, who is to say that the cardinal sin must be cardinal forever? Go on, finish the job. Dang, girl. Take the course you deem most worthy. Oh, so she's a ride or die. You must find kindling. Only the smoldering flame in the great forge of the giants or the highest peak in the lands between can burn the earth tree. But special kindling is required to reignite the flame. For the flame to burn the earth tree, a sacrifice is needed. One who envisions the flame uh -oh. and can lead you to the rune of death. Okay. That's a bit more convoluted than I expected. I mean, the fingers said nothing here. Well, I'm surprised they, the fingers didn't just like slap me, flick me out of the room, you know? Uh, so I guess we're going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this madness. If you did, click that like button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, folks.